Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Greene County, Missouri, with JC News Now, as he attempts to film in yet another courthouse and gets trespassed yet again. Will wonders never cease? How many trespasses will you get before you freaking understand how stupid you truly are? Well... Probably never, but at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody? At the Greene County Jail, one of them. Let's see if we can uh, find the entrance to this mother. It looks like a fortress, for sure. Well, dude, it is a damn jail to hold people in, so I suppose they would build it like a fortress. But at any rate, he wanders around for most of this video trying to find a way in. And, well, we're not going to watch all that, so we're just going to skip ahead to when he has the encounter with the officers that trespass him. Because that's the only real thing that happens in this video anyway. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Many, many minutes later... What's up, man? Still under court order? Huh? Still under the judge's unlawful order? Who are you to call a judge's order unlawful? Have you actually studied the law? Have you gone to law school? Have you actually studied it at all beyond uh, what other frauders tell you? Because a judge has con complete control of the courthouse, not just the courtroom. So you need to take that attitude of yours and stick it up where the sun doesn't shine dumbass so yes without what, what you're talking about yeah we're still doing the same thing we did last time and i looked it up mm -hmm. as i told you i looked it up okay and, and it does say other things yeah and there's a lot more that goes to it for what you're talking about yep i read it i read the whole thing okay so so i can't go past that point no okay good i won't How you like your video? He actually looks really good in the video. You look really good. He, no, looked, he looked really good in it. He no. had sunglasses on. He looked like a punk dick sucker. Like that seems a little excessive. You wouldn't want me to talk to you like that. So. Well, I can file a complaint on you. But That's fine. I can file a complaint on you too, right? No, you can't There's be There's just the, no reason to talk to people like that. You though. can't be the complainant. I can't. Look at this punk. Alright. We're not going to sit here. Yeah, we're not going to do that, okay? Mm -hmm. Like. We're not going to sit here and just call those issues. All right, if you want to talk, we can talk. But we're not going to sit here and call people names for no reason. I'm sorry, officer, but you don't really know who you're talking to. Uh, this guy is nothing more than a gigantic man-child baby who will uh, cry at the slightest little uh, inconvenience and will berate, belittle, and throw tantrums until he tries to get his way. I mean, this is the kind of dude you're trying to deal with right now. I mean, somebody who's completely unreasonable. You spoke to me first. I'll say anything I want under the First Amendment. Okay, we'll say it outside. As long as it's not a threat. We'll say it outside. No, this is the line, right? Yeah, you're crossing the line by just calling people names and being completely disrespectful. It's called redress, and it's protected. Redress. Got it, buddy? Check out the First Amendment, bud. The little what, six weeks you took at law, law school in a... The academy. Okay. You, what you got? You need to spend more what time. What school did you go to? <laughs> you have the right to remain. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna tell you. Okay. okay. You didn't go to one. Okay. Oh, I went to one. You didn't expect that one, did you? I went to one. Okay. What was it? I'm not gonna tell you. Okay. Cause you don't. You didn't go to one. Hey, man, how you done? Hey, if I went to law school, I would be damn well proud of that. Just like the fact that I am damn well proud that I went to Florida State University, and I will be proud of that till my dying day. So basically, your unwillingness to admit to any uh, type of law school that you went to is an admittance that you did not go to a law school at this point, because many of us would be proud of that. Just ignore him. Yeah. All right, this is great, y'all. Remember this cat? Thank you. Thank you. All right. 
I might want to spend more time in the law library instead at the gun range. Well, it would be nice if we could have time to spend it at either one of those. I see. Why is the county spending all this money on babysitters? This money? On, on this stuff? Yeah. This stuff is junk. I mean, no, I'm talking about three officers here. Are y'all officers or deputies? Deputies. Okay, three deputies. What do you mean? Why? Why? There's a hundred thousand dollars a year sitting here, or better, just sitting around. I mean, after taxes or before taxes? You don't pay taxes, sir. I do pay taxes. No, you don't. You use our, you use tax dollars to pay your taxes. What? Wow, your logic is completely stupid at this point, dude. You basically just contradicted yourself. In other words, they do pay taxes. You just worded that so badly. You really need to uh, think before you speak at this point, dude. Think about what you're saying and then talk. You get, okay. you get, you get paid with tax money, right? Yeah. Okay, you use that money to pay your taxes? Yeah, I don't make that much money. Okay, it doesn't well, matter. I do pay taxes. I pay taxes. Okay. Well, well I go to the same tax school as you went to law school. Because huh? I still owe Missouri $800 in taxes, so I know I pay taxes. I know, but you use tax dollars to pay them. I don't use tax dollars, Blair. You don't? You I have, don't use tax dollars. You have How nothing? am I going to have access to tax dollars? You no, get, I, know you were, I know where you went to school at. You get it every you're two You're wearing a shirt for your alumni right now, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's great, ain't it? That's my name right here. Isn't that what y'all say right here? What's your name and badge number? We went over this last time. Are you, you gonna happen, dude. Are you gonna state it? No, you, you already have it. You You're not. Last time. I'm gonna put more paper on you. Okay. Go for it, man. Okay. I sure will. Can I please get your badge and name, badge number and name? Sure. It's eleven ten deputy. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. You see how it's done? That's professional. Mm -hmm. He's gonna move up in rank, and you're not. Okay, that's fine. But what I meant was, you use tax dollars to pay your taxes. I don't use tax dollars. That's what you're saying. You're saying I have access to tax payers money. Hey, ma'am, do, do I get your tax dollars? No. So, no. Wait, let her answer. Does no, it get, sure does, it does, get answer. does it get funded by tax dollars is yes. what he's asking. The, the Green County Sheriff's Office gets funded by tax money. So does the city. So right. does the roads getting paid. Right. So does weird. The DOR who puts license plates on, it all comes from tax money. Yes. Great. You're ta we're talking about the same thing, but you're trying to twist it and turn it into your agenda. We pay taxes and everybody pays taxes. Where does it go? No one knows because we pay tons of taxes and no mm -hmm. one knows where it is. That's why, listen, bud, we're going in circles and you're not doing anything. Okay? Mm -hmm. the, the thing is, is you get paid with tax dollars. Yeah. So you're you, using... JC Penny doesn't pay taxes? That's private. They pay taxes. It's right, but they don't use public funds. <laughs> you, you don't get it. Okay, so when JC Penny ups their prices because taxes go up, what do you think that money goes to? They're not getting money from the citizens. Oh, Jimmy boy, you're so stupid it makes my head hurt. JC Penny would get money from the citizens because we buy their products. So once again, uh, this logic thing just really escapes you, doesn't it? I mean, I'm sure it does. I mean, do you have any gray matter between those ears? If not, then, well, I can understand why this logic thing escapes you. They are getting money from the citizens because you go there and you shop there. You have a choice to do that. You have the choice to go wherever you want. Right. But here you are. I don't have a choice to pay taxes or not. You can. Don't work. No. And don't, don't work. Don't own a vehicle. Don't do any of those things. It's necessary. It's, okay. It's necessary, but it's necessary yeah. for me to pay mine too. So I pay mine. Sure right you know. It costs 100. Sure you do. Pay me All right. Mike Compton. All right. Who's the judge that wrote the order? I don't know. You don't know? Who are the presiding judges in this courthouse? I have no idea. Do you? Who's, who's Judge Harmison? Who's the senator Harmison? of Oklahoma? Yeah. So the detention hearing, I told him I don't know. we're probably going to discuss everything. Not just you, you're just bringing so issues that you want resolved, so just like we want resolved? We have issues. Do we not have issues with the way things are run? Yeah, we have issues. But we're not. I'm not over there bugging the sheriff. I'm not over there bugging the captain, poking him. Is that what you think him. I'm doing? Huh? Is that what you think I'm you're, doing? You're just stirring everything up. 
Yeah. That's all you're doing. I talked to you when you were at the historic courthouse last time, and that's all you want to do. You just want to get people to follow you around and go, oh, stupid cops. Really? Guess what? We're grown adults too. I'm, I'm a dad. He's a dad. Like, we've got families. Okay? So what are you doing? What are you doing for the community? I'm trying I don't to. I see you doing anything. Yes, I'm trying to improve. Okay. Yeah. What are you doing when somebody's getting raped over there across the street? What are you doing when a homeboy trying to buy a PS5 is getting robbed? What are you doing? Nothing. I'm trying to improve policing in America. Okay. And how are you proving it? By educating y'all. How, how are you? Well, dude, uh, you're doing a pretty piss poor job at education because education does not mean you go around berating and belittling everybody in sight until they uh, break down and whine and cry about it. I mean, not even the military they do they do that, at least not for the entire time that you're in there. I mean, it is it actually serves a purpose in which they eventually calm down and actually teach you something but all you do is whine cry complain yell and scream and act like that you're bigger and badder than everybody else around you that's not teaching that's being a complete and total asshat then go to an academy so you can teach us mm -hmm. instead of doing this because you're well, not educating anybody i know and it's a shame <laughs> look at this dick with ears that's a nice dick broom you, you got any business? Dude. What'd you say? What'd you say? What was the comment you just made? I don't answer questions. All right, you're out. Bye. Time to go. Okay. Yep. Time to go. Okay. Trespassed again. Trespassed again. Don't go back to the, any part of Green County property. What crime did I commit? Well, you're not going to say sexual <laughs> things in the courtroom. Because I wouldn't answer your questions. Have a good day. Because I wouldn't answer your hey, questions. We're going to go ahead and get a hold of your probation officer and let him know that you're doing things you're not supposed to be doing. Oh, he knows. He knows. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> Okay, you don't care about uh, them letting the your know, probation officer know about your conduct. Oh, he's probably going to file a report and everything like that. And eventually it's going to come back to haunt you because you've got more trespasses and you've got more uh, court dates coming up. And uh, I'm sure all this will affect it in the end. So just keep on talking, buddy. You're going to end up back in the slammer in no time and probably with a much longer sentence. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.